Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about lidocaine. What is this drug lidocaine? The suffix cane indicates this drug acts as local anesthetic. This lidocaine can also be called with another name lignocaine and it is well known by the brand name xylocaine. All these are the synonyms for lidocaine and this lidocaine is a amide type local anesthetic. Local anesthetics are of two types either amide derivatives or ester derivatives. So lidocaine is a amide derivative. Because of amide linkage this drug is more stable as well as less allergic compared with the ester derivatives. But at the same time this drug is having more systemic toxicity. So if this drug is given accidentally into the systemic circulation Otherwise, when it is locally applied, if it is significantly absorbed into the systemic circulation, in such cases, we can see the systemic toxicity produced by this drug. That's why lidocaine is intended for local action only. And sometimes in order to increase its local action, this lidocaine is combined with vasoconstrictors such as epinephrine. Lidocaine can also be used as a class 1b antiarrhythmic agent and it can be used to terminate ventricular tachycardia. But here in this video we are going to see how this lidocaine acts as local anesthetic, what are the important precautions, side effects, dosage forms, all these things we will discuss in this video. So lidocaine as a local anesthetic, it can be given by injection to produce epidural as well as lumbar anesthesia. Otherwise, it can also be given as a perineural anesthesia where the neuronal block is going to be produced by lidocaine and it can be given by percutaneous injection where it acts by infiltration to reduce the sensitization and neuronal transmission. This drug can also be used to control the nociception in the patients with neuropathic pain where it locally reduces the pain sensation. And apart from these clinical uses, this drug can also be topically applied on the mucous membrane as well as on the skin to produce the local anesthesia. Now let us the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of lidocaine and here we can simply observe an amide linkage. So this is the amide which is attached with the two carbon chain. So let us give the numbering this is one and this is two. So two carbon chain is there which is nothing but estamide. So lidocaine is a estamide derivative. On the second position, it is having an amine which is disubstituted, which is nothing but 2 dash diethyl amino. And on the nitrogen of amide, phenyl ring is attached, so N phenyl, and this phenyl is having methyl groups at both of the ortho positions, so 2 6 dimethyl. That is the complete name of lidocaine. Now, let us see how this drug acts. Lidocaine acts as local anesthetic by inhibiting the neuronal transmission through the axon. Particularly it blocks the voltage gated sodium channels thereby inhibits axonal conduction. So on the axon the sodium channels can exist in three states. They can be exist as closed state where they are not allowing the sodium ions. Otherwise they can exist as open state where the gating mechanism is open so that sodium can enter through this channel. Otherwise, they can present as refractory state where the inner gating mechanism is somewhat closed. So, it is in the intermediate state between open as well as closed states. Now, the sodium ions can enter through this open state sodium channels so that they can produce depolarization of the axon which produce the neuronal transmission. Here, lidocaine can block this neuronal transmission. Now, lidocaine can block the open state ion channels. So it can block directly the open state ion channels and this type of pathway is called hydrophilic pathway. Otherwise, the lidocaine can cross the lipophilic membrane and it can enter into the cytoplasm. Now within the cytoplasm, this drug is going to be protonated so that it is hydrophilic in nature. Now it can block the inner side of this open state sodium channels. So this type of pathway is called hydrophobic pathway. In this way, lidocaine can act by both hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic pathway and by both of these pathways, lidocaine can inhibit the sodium channel activity resulting in the decreased neuronal conduction. 
what are the precautions one of the important precaution of lidocaine is that this drug can produce some local reactions so when this lidocaine is going to be applied on the skin or mucous membrane it can produce some irritation burning sensation some bruising edema as well as erythema can be observed that's why this drug should be used at a low dose for topical purpose in order to minimize the local reactions similarly when this drug is applied to the broken skin it can produce some irritation that's why lidocaine should be applied for intact skin in case of broken skin when this lidocaine is going to be applied it can produce some local irritation as well as some of the lidocaine molecules can enter into the systemic circulation through this broken skin where they increase the systemic absorption leading to some systemic toxicity since this drug is intended for local action it should not be applied on the skin areas which are directly exposed to the circulatory system to minimize this systemic absorption similarly this drug can produce myth hemoglobinemia particularly this condition is observed in the patients who are having glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is one of the important enzyme required for production of NADPH this NADPH can activate the glutathione system so that it can reduce the oxidative stress so in the patients with decreased levels of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase the oxidative stress is increased resulting in the destruction of RBC cells. So this damage to the RBC may result in the decreased oxygen carrying capacity resulting in few of the symptoms such as blue discoloration, seizures and arrhythmias can be produced. That's why this drug should be carefully given in the patients who are having the risk of myth hemoglobinemia. In such patients, this drug should be carefully given. Just we have seen that lidocaine is intended for local anesthesia. But when this drug is undergoing systemic absorption, it can produce some systemic toxicity so that it can affect the central nervous system, leading to various symptoms such as dizziness, lightheadedness, some confusion, drowsiness, some tinnitus can also be observed, and blurred vision. Even at high dose, it can produce convulsions in the patients. That's why any accidental consumption of lidocaine by systemic route otherwise any significant systemic absorption when it is applied by local route in both of the cases it can produce some systemic toxicity affecting the central nervous system similarly this systemic absorption can also affect the heart resulting in the bradycardia some hypotension and even at high dose it can produce some cardiac arrest in the patients similarly when this drug is in contact with eye it can produce some local irritation resulting in the redness of eye and it can also produce some hypersensitive reactions but these hypersensitive reactions are somewhat less compared with the PABA derivatives we have the PABA derivatives such as benzocaine which is having the more allergic response compared with the lidocaine what are the side effects the important side effects of lidocaine are mainly related with its local action it can produce some local irritation erythema flushing redness of the skin pruritus edema can be produced and it can also affect the CNS resulting in nervousness, lightheadedness, tinnitus, some budging noise in the ear, blurred vision, bradycardia, any hypersensitive reactions like angioedema and hypotension can be observed with this lidocaine. How it is given? Lidocaine is available in different doses forms. It is available as solution, cream, gel, even spray, patches. In all these doses forms it is available even it is available as powder and in many of the formulations it is combined with other drugs such as epinephrine otherwise it is combined with other drugs such as metronidazole to produce anesthesia in the oral cavity but as the solution this drug is given by IV root to produce the epidural anesthesia perineural anesthesia percutaneous anesthesia and in other doses forms it is given by topical route to produce local anesthesia so lidocaine can produce either local or regional anesthesia whether it can be given by IV route or it can be topically applied this drug mainly blocks the voltage gated sodium channels thereby it can reduce the neurotransmission but when this drug is accidentally consumed by systemic route otherwise when it is more absorbed into the systemic circulation it can produce some systemic toxicity 
mainly affecting the CNS to produce lightheadedness, dizziness, drowsiness, tinnitus. At a high dose, it can produce convulsions. Similarly, it can affect the heart, resulting in bradycardia, hypotension, even cardiac arrest. And as a local anesthetic, it can produce some local irritation, resulting in skin irritation, flushing, edema, pruritus. And on the broken skin, when it is applied, it can produce some local irritation and it increases the risk of systemic absorption. So, lidocaine is a MI derivative, which is having some less hypersensitive reactions compared with the PABA derivatives. But this drug is having more systemic toxicity, so it is intended only for local purpose. So, that's about this drug, lidocaine. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.